Millions of years ago, while the legendary Spinosaurus carved a watery empire through North Africa's rivers, something eerily similar was stalking the prehistoric wetlands of South America. Meet Oxalea quilombensis, a predator that looked like a doppelganger. It too bore the iconic crocodile-like snout, conical teeth for gripping slippery prey, and likely even sported a sail-like structure along its back. But here's the twist. Despite being one of Brazil's largest carnivores ever discovered, Oxalia was almost completely overshadowed. Why? Timing, location, and a lack of fossil fame. While Spinosaurus has starred in blockbusters and children's lunchboxes, Oxalia barely made it onto paleontology's radar. And yet, this forgotten twin ruled a continent of its own, possibly just as ferocious and specialized as its African counterpart. The two never met, separated by an ocean and at least 95 million years of drifting continents. But their stories are hauntingly parallel. It's as if evolution tried the same blueprint twice, on opposite sides of the world, then quietly erased one before we ever got to know it. You'd think the largest carnivore ever discovered in Brazil would come with a skeleton worthy of a museum centerpiece. But here's the kicker. Everything we know about Oxalea, its size, its genus, its place in evolutionary history, is based on just two fossilized bones. That's right, a partial snout and a fragment of an upper jaw, unearthed in 1999. And yet, from those two pieces alone, paleontologists concluded this creature may have measured up to 12 to 14 meters long, on par with Tyrannosaurus rex and possibly even Spinosaurus itself. The implications were enormous, but so was the skepticism. Can you really identify a new species from two bones? Well, when those bones have the telltale features of a spinosaurid, narrow jaws, straight conical teeth, no serrations, it's not just a shot in the dark. Still, in the scientific world, where bones are currency and context is everything, Oxalia has always felt like a whisper in the fossil record. Not disproven, but not quite celebrated either. It's the kind of find that makes you wonder how many other titans are hiding beneath our feet, waiting for just one more piece to complete the picture. It's not every day you expect to find a 14-meter predator buried beneath a tropical paradise. But that's exactly what happened on San Luis Island, off Brazil's northern coast. Today, it's known for white sand beaches, reggae rhythms, and colonial architecture. But 95 million years ago, it was part of a vast delta teeming with life and death. When paleontologists unearthed the jaw fragments of Oxalia here, it raised eyebrows. How did such a massive creature, one capable of ruling its own ecosystem, go unnoticed in a region that had never been a major player in the dinosaur fossil world? Unlike the fossil-rich badlands of Argentina or the windswept deserts of Mongolia, Brazil's northern coast wasn't exactly on paleontology's bucket list. And that may be the real mystery. How many ancient giants are hidden under our most unexpected landscapes, beneath sand dunes, under city blocks, or quietly eroding on rainforest cliffs? Oxalea wasn't just a biological marvel, it was a cartographic one too, reminding us that some of prehistory's greatest secrets aren't where we've already looked, but where we've barely begun. Forget the image of a roaring land-bound beast, Oxalea was likely more at home in water than on dry ground. Much like its African cousin Spinosaurus, this creature seemed built for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, an evolutionary oddity among giant theropods. Its elongated jaws and interlocking teeth were perfect for snagging slippery prey, suggesting it hunted massive prehistoric fish in the murky estuaries and mangrove swamps that once blanketed coastal Brazil. Picture it, a shadow gliding beneath the surface, breaking the water only to clamp down on a lungfish the size of a sofa. And this wasn't just a matter of convenience, it was dominance. In ecosystems without the classic top predators like allosaurs or tyrannosaurs, Oxalia may have been both the shark and the crocodile of its day. What's more, its presumed aquatic nature turns the predator playbook on its head. Instead of speed or bone-crunching bites, it relied on stealth, surprise, and aquatic precision. It was a relic of specialization, proof that even apex predators didn't all follow the same mold. Some, like Oxalea, forged entirely new ones. With a size rivaling the world's most iconic predators, Oxalea should have been a household name. But it vanished, 
not from the fossil record, but from public and scientific consciousness. After its announcement in 2011, the excitement fizzled fast. Why? Partly because the fossils were fragmentary, sure, but deeper issues loomed. The original specimens became mired in Brazil's labyrinthine fossil policies, rarely displayed and seldom studied. Worse yet, Brazil has faced an ongoing crisis of fossil smuggling and scientific isolation. Unlike countries with well-funded institutions and open access dig sites, Brazil tightly restricts fossil exports, even for collaborative study, making follow-up research painfully slow. Oxalea became collateral damage in a bureaucratic bottleneck, caught between national pride and academic paralysis. Then there's simple fate. No further bones have ever been found. No femur, no vertebrae. Just the two lonely jaw pieces, slowly gathering dust. It's as if nature gave us a fleeting glimpse of something extraordinary, then slammed the vault shut. And in the world of paleontology, silence can be as powerful as extinction. Not everyone's convinced Oxalia is truly unique. In fact, some scientists argue it might just be Spinosaurus in disguise. After all, the bones share many of the same features. Snout shape, tooth placement, size. Could they simply be variations of the same genus, separated by ocean and time? It's a valid question, and one that sparked more than a few academic squabbles. But here's the twist. Even if Oxalia is Spinosaurus's long-lost cousin, that doesn't make it any less fascinating. It might be evidence of a phenomenon known as convergent evolution, when distant species develop similar traits independently, because they live in similar environments. Or it might suggest that spinosaurids were more widespread and resilient than we ever imagined, crossing vast prehistoric waterways or evolving in isolated pockets of land. Either way, it raises a thrilling possibility what if there were whole networks of these water-loving giants hiding in the fossil record, waiting to connect the dots? Whether Oxalia is its own species or a regional flavor of a known one, its existence challenges what we thought we knew and hints at a forgotten web of apex aquatic predators. In the end, Oxalia's greatest mystery isn't its anatomy. It's how it nearly disappeared twice, first from the prehistoric world and then from modern memory. Here was a predator of staggering size, capable of reshaping our understanding of spinosaurid evolution. Yet today, it's rarely mentioned even in specialist circles. Why? Because science doesn't just run on discovery, it runs on momentum. And Oxalea, lacking a complete skeleton, media spotlight, or Hollywood cameo, simply never gained traction. But there's a deeper irony here. In an era when we can sequence the genome of a bird from a speck of blood, Oxalia reminds us how fragile fossil fame really is. It's not the most bizarre creatures that earn our attention, but the ones lucky enough to be found, funded, and followed up on. Somewhere in the coastal cliffs of Brazil, more of Oxalia may still be waiting. Bones locked in stone, secrets frozen in time. And maybe that's the real story, not of what we know, but of what we've almost forgotten. Ultimately, the arrival of humans marked the end of an era for these magnificent isolated ecosystems. A world of giant, often flightless creatures and fragile biodiversity, unprepared for sudden change, faded into memory, leaving behind traces in bone, myth, and cautionary echoes about the power of our presence. If you enjoyed uncovering the mystery of Oxalia, don't miss our deep dive into the ghosts of Gondwana where even stranger creatures once ruled the southern continents. Subscribe for more Forgotten Giants and the stories that time tried to erase. See you in the next expedition.